Hello, we are at the National Research Council of Italy in Bologna. Uh, my name is Alberto Zanelli and I uh, am full researcher at the Institute for Organic Synthesis and Photoreactivity. Today we are going to speak about the recycle of uh, waste from electric and electronic equipments. And uh, now look for a regular washing machine. Here we are. What's inside a washing machine? Let's remove the cord and here we are. Inside the uh, old washing machine there is a lot of plastic and cement, this is strange. A lot of cables and this one is uh, a box made by, yes, made by iron. This is a magnet and magnets stay on the iron. And behind this plastic cover there are the electronic of washing machine. How the washing machine uh, works? Ha, there is an engine but we can't see it because it's on the bottom of the machine. The first thing that they do when a waste washing machine arrives to the waste depot is to cut the power cord, then they remove the engine. And this is the engine. Oh, it's very heavy. They remove it because it's very difficult to mill it. The engine is made by basically a couple of pieces, this one, this is the static part with a lot of copper, the red metal inside is copper and the other one is the rotor with plastic to move the air around the motor and a lot of stainless steel. Uh, but how can we explain to the students in their classroom how the waste from electric and electronic equipments are recycled. We have just set up this suitcase with a lot of interesting things inside. First, there is a small washing machine because the regular one, the real washing machine, is too heavy to be carried to the school. After cutting the power cord in the waste pot, the workers remove the engine because the engine is the heaviest part of the machine, but also the part that contains the main valuable metals, copper. Then the inner cables are removed and the machine is grinded. And here we are the cables. This is also a valuable part of the machine because it contains a lot of copper and it's possible to recycle it. Then, after grinding, we have something like this. A lot of pieces of metal. Those are pieces of steel, iron containing alloys. And uh, there are other parts made by glasses. Other one are made by aluminium. And finally, here there is the concrete, the cement we saw before. Inside the washing machine we saw a lot of plastic and the plastic became something like this. And uh, I told uh, that there are some electronic board and uh, those are two pieces of an electronic board of a washing machine. Finally, in the washing machine there is rubber. This is a piece of the window and this is a rubber pipeline that is inside of the machine. Rubber and plastics are hard to be recycled and usually are burned to produce energy. Concrete can be further grinded and used 
to produce other material for construction or land filling. Glass could be melted once again to produce other glasses. Electronic birds are burned to recover the precious metals that there are inside. And finally, then metals are melted once again to produce new things. So from the waste of aluminium it's possible to produce, for example, a new carabiner and iron could be melted to produce new nails. All this information are reported in these uh, teaching materials that teachers can use with their students to show how a waste can become a new product.